Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! All right, getting to some of the, If you thought two days ago was, was deep and philosophical, I've saved these because they're going to take a while. I might not even get to them all today. Hi, Aaron, I got this video request for you. I already know the answer, but could you make a video on your existentialistic views and reasons on this question? Should you feel sorry for people? She mentioned it vaguely. The biggest mistake my mother made in the 90s was meeting my dad, as she will never admit it. He... He... He's run guys. You gotta fucking spell. He's ruining her life. He ruining he life is what you spelled. I think you mean he's ruining her life. Still one hundred fifty thousand dollars in indemnity money from as a pre me baby and ruined our lives for eighteen years. Well, she chose him, guys. This it, all right, all right. And anyway, she went from having a net worth of one million U.S. dollars to becoming homeless in the beginning of the recession. She did. It all in feeling sorry for him. I'm in my mid twenties now and growing up at that point. But the point is that you went through something similar with school and three jobs, all including security. Dude, I I wish I had someone in my family that had a million dollars. I'd settle for the hundred fifty thousand indemnity money. I don't even need know what indemnity money is. I don't think anyone in my family. Um, Except for now, nah, adjusting for inflation, maybe my grandpa had some money, but no, uh, the uh, the Clary uh, 1975 model has not seen six figures. Um, One million almost come almost. Uh, uh, but the point is that you went through something similar with school and three jobs, including all security. No, I didn't. I didn't go through my dad or my mom or any one of my family member, uh, any one of my family members. Stealing money like that or being crazy. Never. Never that. Th th my, my parents were not abusive. I did not come from an abusive home. I came from a, you know, uh, not not dirt poor home, but it was a uh, lower middle class. And then we got we got luckier as we got older, um, but not by much. Uh, but uh, no, I there was no, nobody was stealing money, making people go bankrupt, nothing like that. Not to be sound mopey. I'm, I'm reading it like he writes it, guys. Not to be sound mopey or depressing, I'm giving you some foundation for the question. Revise. Can you rant about your opinion on why you shouldn't or should help people and feel sorry for them? And ergo, throw yourself under the bus to help them. Uh, I reckon it's odd because once you said you owe it to society to be a good person, however, express signs of hedonism and self-interest individuality. All right, let me, let me explain how. I have a general policy of not helping people because for the most part, people are the cause of their own problems. They're the ones that brought upon themselves. And more importantly than that, why I don't help out people is because they will never learn unless they suffer the full consequences. And even more importantly than that, when I have tried to help people, how many here in the audience tried to help someone and they didn't listen to you? And they, they didn't turn it around or they didn't do what was needed to be done? People are lazy. That's, that's the one thing. People are too lazy even to help their own goddamn selves. And I'm not going to piss away a second of my precious finite life on this planet wasting it on someone who doesn't want to, who's not going to take my help, doesn't deserve my help, and even if I gave him my help, won't do anything with it. This is why I charge at asshole consulting. So when you guys jerk off to the advice I give you and you throw it in the garbage, I don't care. I really don't. You paid me. I got money. So, he, so I, that's that's how I, you know, and then people have followed my advice and they do good. Then I save those emails because it's like awesome. Um, so <clears throat> I don't, in, in a general policy, I do not believe in helping out people. I do not feel sorry for people. Uh, and I will never, ever throw myself under the bus to help someone because there's no reason for you to hurt or cripple yourself uh, to maybe or may not help out somebody. And if you look at statistics, 98% of the cases, you may not. Um, I reckon it's odd because you once said you owe to society to be a good person. Yeah, you owe to, that's all you owe society. That's all you owe society. That's it. I support myself. If each individual took care of themselves, the world would have no problems. 
But about half of you need a fucking government handout. Half of you need some kind of bailout. Half of you need some kind of parasitism, you know, financial blood drawn from the producers of society. Because you don't take care of yourself. Shut the fuck up. Um, so that's why you, you do owe it to society. That's why I pride myself. I've never taken a government check. Don't think I won't. Don't think if, if times don't get bad enough. I, you know, not to sound like a baby boomer. I did pay into the system. And they make it increasingly harder and harder to get by. I mean, my God. <laughs> they make it real hard to be a producer. But, you know, and, and there may be a critical point where it's just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm a parasite. Read the book, enjoy the decline. But you owe it to society not to parasite off of them. That's it. That would be Cappy's golden rule. Don't be a parasite. Um, and like Thanos, all the parasites went away. And my God, it was half the population. Thanos did nothing wrong. Uh, however, express signs of hedonism, self-interest, and individuality. Yeah, if I take care of myself and I don't bother you, I'm not hitting you up for money, I can do whatever the fuck I want with my money and my time. You know, it, it, it's like drugs. Right? Well, are you, are you hurting anybody? No, are you hurting yourself? Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. You, uh, you know, it, <laughs> a lot of you guys, you come in like, oh, my parents won't let me do what I want. I'm 20 years old. And I'm like, do you live at home? Yeah, well, I guess you're, I guess you're not supporting yourself, are you? You're a parasite on your parents. And I guess they get to tell you what to do now, don't they? My parents are like, hey, you going to church? No. Nah. <laughs> you really are. Mm, you going to pay me? No. Mm, bye. <laughs> it, it's great being an individual, self-supporting adult. It's great. Uh, about the only caveat where I have, and you should, feel sorry for individual people is when it's things that uh, are outside of their control. Truly tragic acts of nature, or <clears throat> true tragedy, true accidents. Uh, for example, one time a friend of mine, uh, and you want to talk about just a complete douche move. Um, the, the kid got their Christmas, someone broke in the house and stole the Christmas gifts. And her daughter want, really, really, really wanted the Barbie something, or well, I can't remember what it was. It was something Barbie. And she was crying and uh, you know, single mom and all that. And I don't give a shit about single moms. I do care about the kids, though. And so I gave her some money. I'm like, here, go get the kid the Barbie thing. And, and, and you thought, and it's like, no, I didn't do it for you. I did it for the freaking kid. So kids, I'll kind of, I'll, I'll, I'll grant the kids, you know, I'll, I'll help out kids. I have helped out kids before because they're innocent. Fuck the parents. Help out the kids. Or, you know, wounded warriors. Um, or tragic accident. Car accident, guys in a wheelchair. So I'm like, yeah, you help. You help the old, the infirm. Well, man, even, not even the old. Baby boomers voted in all these social programs. They should have it taken care of. But the infirm, uh, handicap, uh, mental and physical, um, you know, uh, uh, truly people who are disabled, not lazy fucktardos. I got autism. I'm on the spectrum. I have disability. I, I need a government check. I need SSI. I, 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 I mean, I remember teaching a ballroom dance class. Here this gal comes in. I'm like, oh, you're early. It's like, yeah, I don't really have a job. I'm like, you know, are you in school? Oh, no, I'm on disability. I'm like, you're taking my fucking ballroom dance class. You're on disability? No, fuck you. See, that, that's a, I'm talking genuinely disabled people, true care, uh, charity cases that need the help of others. Then I'm fine. Yeah, okay, I'll give you the help. But usually those people are so hurt by reality. Uh, they're very mature about the charity they get. They're very appreciative of it. Although kids, you know, kids are kids. You know, they don't know much about finances. But um, they're not going to, they'll be appreciative of what you have. And they won't lie, they won't hide behind excuses. Oh, I'm this, I'm oppressed, I have a disease, I have a, 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 I got that kind of plumbing, not this kind of plumbing. I believe I have this kind of plumbing. Well, I'd like to have that kind of plumbing, but I'm trapped in a body with this type of plumbing. Give me money. No, fuck them. Those, those, fr they actually insult people who actually do have a disability, who actually are impaired and actually do need help. Uh, so, but that, the, the people who genuinely need help are such a small percentage of the population, um, compared to where we just shell out cash to fully functional adults who hide behind either a skin color, a gender, a made up gender, a mental disorder, made up mental disorder, or the fact that they have kids. I, I, I'm, I'm, I have, I have not only no patience, I have a genuine hatred for those people. And that's why I refuse to help out. 
went down south to oh it was a brewery it was a brewery on como and hennepin no hennepin and larpenter some brewery standard millennial brewery lots of beards lots of flannel and you just walk in they had you know uh, food trucks and music and, and, and beer and all that and yeah, there's a five dollar donation that's optional. It goes to help the community share. Nope, nope. Oh, okay, because I see your your community's a real piece of shit. So I don't think my five bucks gonna help it. It's not that bad of a neighborhood. It's all right. All right, there you go. Questions, answers. Assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.